Oh, in agriculture news, patrons of Riggs Brewery are more focused on their beverage than the grain used to make it. WCI3's ag reporter Stu Ellis checks out the grain side of the business to bring you this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. Beer enthusiasts at Riggs Beer Saturday were oblivious to a bumper crop of small grains enthusiasts more focused on the wheat and barley test plots on the east side of Urbana. Owner Matt Riggs hosted small grains researcher Jessica Rakoski and her followers. But there's a great family story that brewed from it as well. I'm sure it's, it's hard um, for every family that's running a business together. It takes a lot of communication. Some people are better at it than others. Uh, and, and you're doing something where when there's a failure, you know, it, it, it hurts everybody. That's Matt Riggs, one of two sons of Sydney farmer Dennis Riggs. But did he raise farmers or brewers? I raised uh, intelligent young men, <laughs> and they've turned into both. They've, uh, they've turned into beer makers first, I might say, and then uh, now they're turning into farmers uh, because we're trying to find a way to integrate our family farming operation into uh, a new commercial venture, which, of course, is beer making. And Father Dennis says the family farm is responding. Well, for the last uh, four or five years, we've been scaling up and scaling up to match their production needs, and uh, we're up to... Uh, uh, I, I don't know the bushels, but we're, we're over 40 acres of our farm that used to be no grains at all. Uh, now is the barley and the wheat and also some, some white corn for the production. But it was not an easy start. I think he alluded to the fact that that was crazy. Um, and we eventually, through persistence, convinced him to essentially we started with one acre. And over the years, have kind of just ramped that up as we've demonstrated that, hey, this works. Uh, it's not perfect. It ain't easy. But um, he's at the point now where I think he's all on board. But that took years. And, and that's not a bad trait for a farmer to have. And Dennis also found some additional benefits. Uh, there's a lot of environmental uh, reasons to do this uh, for the soil, for runoff, uh, and I like all those things. And as we try to, to integrate that into our operation to make it more environmentally friendly, it's working out great. A lot of folks will drink to that. That's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.